We're so excited to have our new RV. We love the space in this fifth wheel. Now, we just need to get her ready for season four. But before we get to that, we thought we'd share a quick recap of some of the fun and games we've been having over the last few months. We're super excited to be here tonight. This is our first show of 2024. It's always great when you end up uh, going to uh, hotels and give you like a little soap dispenser thing. This is the time to use it. Because this to get on there, you have to put a little bead of soap like around here so it pops on. You don't want to waste that good Dawn soap. So just drizzle just a little bit. Worst case scenario just suds up. That's probably good enough. Okay. Let me just position it under. Gotta make sure the snap pad faces out, of course. And then eh, do the same with the other side. Oh. I don't think there's really a fine tip on how much you put in there. They probably put a lot more than you need to be, but yeah, that's good enough. And then put that right there. And then um, I probably want to take this down. Watch your head. And then I need to push this down. 
It'll be a lot more back against it. Come to play. I want to unlock this thing. Oh, okay. Unlock that. So now I'm going to put the landing gear down. It's going to snap the pads on, bring this back up. We should be good. It only dropped an inch. I was actually impressed. Measured the back and the front. The back measured at 41, the front measured at 42. So it looks pretty even. And here I have a lot of clearance. I don't know how it looks pretty level, but we'll find out when we go down the road. We'll see. So why'd you have to replace the screen? When a dog decides that there's another dog outside and she says, oh, this won't stop me, yeah. doesn't stop her. She decided to like scratch the screen and damage it. She said, three weeks? Three weeks? We've had it for three weeks. We've had our previous one for two and a half years. We never once had this issue. So I don't know if this is Savage's way of christening or what, but um, I hope this is the last time she's gonna christen this RV. Brian is up there pressure washing the roof. <clears throat> and I noticed that as he was coming next to this little dome we have here, it's supposed to be for a third AC. It's supposed to be like prepped for your third AC. Anyway, he's you know, pressure washing around it because I said, don't pressure wash right on it. And water sprang in. So I'm in here, I just, went, I just ran outside, I ran over there to tell him like, like don't, don't spray around it because the water's actually coming in. So it seemed like it was kind of loose when he like kind of pulled up on the, the top of it. So he thought it just needed to be tightened. So I just tightened it. Let's see if that's enough. Okay, let's go try and catch him. <laughs> Pull up on it. What? Pull up on the lid. Still seems a little It's like tight though. Yeah. I think it's just the lid. Maybe we need to seal it. Yeah, it's definitely got a lot of give. I, I gotta go back down now. <laughs> it's making a nice little puddle here. This will have a clean roof. Our door is busted so bad that sometimes we can't close it and sometimes we can't open it. Let me show you. Trying to open the door, see the latch? Latch is all the way open and the door won't open. Oh, there we go. Oh. Out? That was a lot of work. You didn't look like you were gonna be actually be able to get out of that thing. I don't know if coming outside is worth it. <laughs> that's just, that's not normal. You see down here where it's nice and flush and it just completely separates right here and then eventually it comes back to it. So the doors are supposed to be bowed to an extent but unfortunately in this case this is a lot more excessive because it's not supposed to be this bowed. And I think that's always the thing is that it's normal to have that seal when 
it pushes in this seals all around it and so having that little bit of bow is okay this is not okay we're still in the discovery phase of all the little cubby holes in this rv and ryan likes to take panels off and see well, what's behind the panel oh, yeah you want to be able to determine exactly like what's behind the walls what's there is there extra space that the rv is just kind of like closed off because i do feel like there's a lot of times when there's a lot more space that you have. Some of it's actually usable and some of it's, okay, well, at least now you know what's behind it. And I've already been finding little things where I can be able to, okay, I can store something there. Okay, so he's going to store something, but he's gonna put the panel back up. Let's see when we get rid of this RV, if he remembers what he stored there. So in the underbase storage, he took the panel off that goes right here and that's where you can see in. You can see Savage. Maybe you can see her sitting right there. So Brian's going to start storing stuff in this space right here. Okay, let's take a vote. Who thinks he's going to forget? Because we'll sell this, what, maybe two, three years from now? Hey, it's a forever home. We're going to be here forever. It's, I don't it's, think it's, so. We're set. This is, this is our next home. Um, yeah, I mean, it's a good little spot to be able to store stuff that you're not going to be able to use. You know, sometimes, unfortunately, as a lot of people know... Store stuff you're not going to use. <laughs> well, store stuff you're not going to use right away, is what I would say. Because, you know, there's going to be time periods where you're actually going to be needing it. And so, yeah, you don't want to be storing something that I'm going to be constantly using. But for a replaceable water pump, you know, it's just something I don't need right now. But I may. And I'd rather have one available in case I need something if we're boondocking, if we're out where we just can't have accessibility. You don't really, a water pump going out, not a thing you want. So in a few years, if we tell you we're getting a new RV, I'm gonna need you to say, hey guys, do you remember the stuff you put behind that storage little compartment area, that, that little cubby hole that Ryan found? Don't forget to take it out. I'm gonna put stuff back, back there that maybe it's not that big of a deal if it stays behind. Now I can't close it. <laughs> so here's what happens. I'm gonna rip this. Yeah, I give up. I'm gonna need Ryan to close it. Hey, can you close the door? Can you push the door closed? You need assistance to close the RV door. It's not right. There we go. Do you ever see your neighbors do weird things out and around their RV? And you're like, what are they doing? Okay, we're that weird neighbor right now. We're preparing things to install a washer and dryer. So Ryan wanted to flush the lines of the washer because what he noticed from the sink when we first got this RV is that all these plastic pieces, little shards of plastic, were blocking the filter. So we didn't have very good flow. So he wanted to drain the connections for the washer so that I wouldn't get stuck in the washer. Basically, and said exactly how, how it was, is that unfortunately when they make all the little um, PEC tube, everything is that nice hard plastic. And a lot of the times when they're cutting it, a little piece of the, sh the shards kind of get into the line and you kind of already noticed that beforehand. So I want to make sure that when we hook up the wash and dryer, we don't have any of those shards that kind of get shot out. So basically I hooked up the water hose um, and running it outside. Remove the screen. Flush everything out. <laughs> um, yes, remove. Well, luckily in this case, the screen just slides across. So I don't have to worry about it as much as of actually removing it versus the other one we actually had to remove it. So now I'm just flushing it out, making sure all those little shards are completely gone. So when we actually get a chance to like run the water into the washer, you don't have all those little bits in there. So I just want to make sure that we're covering all the bases. That's 167 pounds in a tiny little area. You don't really want any, oh, what? Well, now I got to move it all, move it back and I got to adjust it and drain it and do all this other stuff. So hopefully this will help. We'll see. Hey there. I feel a lot like Rapunzel. Yeah, let me down your hose. <laughs> hose Excellent. is yours. Thank you. <laughs>